Hey guys, this is Saab Nahi from Alba Technologies and in this video let's unbox the LG Q6. Box is mostly made in black with no fancy things. Now this device comes in three different colors. I have the black one and price quoted here on the box is 16,990 but it's available on Amazon for 14,999 and as always the link will be there in the description box. Opening up the box on the top is the device and initial impressions the footprint of the device is so small even though it has a 5.5 inch display. Anyways, let me keep it aside as we will talk about it in a bit. So first, let's see what else do we get inside the box. So you get some documentation, quick start guide and some other details with a SIM ejector tool, a power adapter which is just a normal charger so no fast charging over here with this device. Output rating is 5 volt and 1.2 amperes. USB to micro USB cable is included because there is no USB type C on this device. And last but not the least, you do get earphones which are basic earphones. So these are not in-ear style earphones, but there is a button to accept and reject calls and there is a microphone so you can use the earphones to take calls. Now let me give you my initial impressions of the device and as I said earlier, it's a smaller device when compared to traditional devices, but still I'm not comfortable when it comes to one-handed usage. So I won't really say that it will be great for people who are looking for one-handed usage, but these are just my initial impressions. Back is made out of plastic and yes, it does attract a lot of fingerprints and smudges. but i must say that it is not slippery also keep a note that the sides are made out of 7000 series aluminum which means that it is stronger than usual metal that is being used on budget smartphones in terms of weight it is around 149 grams which is quite less i would say and it's good at around 8.1 mm thick now let me give you a quick physical overview of the device so this device comes with a 3000 mah capacity battery which is sealed inside and the back panel is non removable On the rear side is a 13 megapixel shooter with f2.2 aperture and a single LED flash. Speaker is present on the rear side at the bottom and I will talk about it in a bit. On to the front is a 5 megapixel shooter. Next to it are some sensors, earpiece in the center and the beautiful 5.5 inch display with those rounded corners looks amazing. It does comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on top. and we heard aspect ratio which is 16s to 9 and we will talk about that in my review maybe not in this video below the display are three on screen keys and you can just customize it if you want although there is no fingerprint sensor on this device which is sort of disappointing in my opinion anyways moving ahead on the bottom is the primary microphone headphone jack and a micro usb port on the top is the secondary noise cancellation mic Power button and volume rockers are present on the right and left respectively and I must say that the buttons are of good quality so I don't really have any complaints here. On the left are the two 4G SIM card slots so you have dedicated SIM card slots plus a dedicated SD card slot where you can insert up to 2 TB of SD card and I'm sure you won't have that. Now talking about the software it comes with LG's own UI which I don't like honestly but good part is that it is built on top of Android 7.1 nuget so you do get some nuget features here now in terms of storage you get about 21 GB out of that 32 GB and RAM available here is around 1.5 GB out of that 3 GB but if you talk about the processor used here it is Snapdragon 435 which is a low end processor so it would have been great if they would have given at least Snapdragon 625 for this price but i would like to know what do you guys feel about this thing in the comment section so yeah do let me know that in the comment section well the display does look good but then the output from the speaker is not all that loud which is disappointing i would say as i thought that it would be a great device when it comes to multimedia experience but that's not the case here it seems like anyways good part is that lg is offering one time screen replacement for free within 6 months so in that way you are secure i would say now lastly here is a quick comparison with my oneplus 5 for those who want to know how small this is when compared to traditional devices with 5.5 inch display and i must say that it is quite a lot smaller compared to OnePlus 5 well that's about it for this unboxing and impressions video here are some of the pictures that i've shot with the device and initial impression it is not that bad also it's a request that do let me know what videos you would like to see on this device in the comment section and yes do hit that like button if you like this video and if this video helped you out 
If you are new to the channel, then definitely hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you don't miss out such amazing videos. Make sure to follow me on all my social media networks. Links are there in the description box. That's it, guys. This is Sobna from All Logic. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.